and, and yesterday was a big day in Boston. I want to pull up a picture first, um, and we're going to explain this picture, do a little play-by-play. -play. Okay, folks, you're looking at one shot on the left, one shot on the right. This was a protest, uh, a, a, a movement, I should say, permitted by the free speech group. Which group do you think that is? Well, in fact, they're the ones on the left. Take a look at the mass of humanity on the right. 15,000 counter protesters. And Mark, when you look at this, you think this could be a problem for free speechers. Not the KKK, not neo Nazis, but people who believe in free speech rights. Yeah, I would rather we had more speech and fewer protests because I, I think the, uh, the less speech you have, the more violence you have. And it would be a lot better if actually we had more people having more vigorous debates rather than uh, toppling statues in the street. And my worry about this uh, is that actually the left is making an organized attempt to say that if you do not vote Democrat, uh, that you're, you're a Nazi. That's the point of this. They don't care about That's Confederate. That's dangerous rhetoric, Mark. That is, well, it is dangerous because, as you were talking about earlier, it's an explicit thing to actually tie policy differences on rather boring things like taxes and immigration. Uh, to the most crude form of demagoguery. That's what we've just seen this last week. They don't actually care what Trump thinks about some statue. They don't think about whether there's any actual real connection between guys calling for Jews to be in ovens and Trump. They want to say, if you vote for Trump, you're a Nazi, so we can't talk with you. All we can do is smash up your, your rally. Those statues that so many people want to tear down were erected in the South when Democrats were in charge. Does anybody remember that? I'm not saying that, yeah. that, that the Democratic Party of today is necessarily approving of that. No, but, no, no. But let's... let's but look, I, yeah, I don't, have a dog in, I don't have a dog in this fight. They're, they're basically today's Democrats arguing about statues of yesterday's Democrats. Exactly. I mean, speaking personally, I think they should all be torn down and you should have some ones of George III put up because that's before oh. all the... That's before all the... Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> that's, but, but the, Ouch. I, no, no, no. I watched, I watched you guys. You said, well, we can't have Christopher Columbus. We can't have George Washington. We can't have Ben Franklin. <laughs> It's like, uh, who's go, left? Go to Saudi Arabia where they don't put up statues to any human right. being. They put no. up statues to technology. Uh, but, uh, you know, Mark is on to something here. In other words, they are in a very organized way trying to label anybody who's a conservative, who is a Republican, a racist. And this is dangerous rhetoric. 